Matt here, Atlas Precision Consulting. Uh, in today's P21 video, we're going to talk about min-max and how it affects purchasing. Uh, in this example, I'm on uh, the replenishment tab for location 10. Um, obviously, if you had multiple locations, you would have to set these min-maxes up at every location. Um, it's, it's pretty straightforward. If you've ever been involved in purchasing, min-max is not a foreign concept to you. Uh, here we have a min that we put in and we have a max. If we fall below that min, I want you to order up to the max. That's essentially all we're, we're saying. A couple things to keep in mind with min maxes. Uh, it is a manual process. So if you set it and forget it, it could greatly throw off your purchasing. If an item at some point when you set it was a great item, um, but it since then has fallen off, you're still trying to order that. And so at some point you're gonna overstock or the vice versa you're not ordering enough because somebody hasn't bumped up that min max again by default it's a manual process um, in the past atlas has worked with some people uh, to do something we called a dynamic min max uh, where based on different calculations we could run something that would go out update uh, min min and maxes on on certain items if a customer chose to but we're talking about base functionality here uh, though if you want to talk about customizations uh, atlas uh, is here to help with that too uh, so let's go look at this item real quick in item master inquiry i got it pulled up the purchase stock card this formula is very basic here net stock uh, is the same whether you're looking at up to or min max and i've already covered that in another video essentially you can see here my net stock is 101 uh, my min is 100 so it's telling me uh, my net stock is greater there's no reason for me to purchase so i don't order anything um now I have an order here that I have some on here and I'm going to hit save just so I can take uh, 10 of these out of uh, my net stock. Uh, so when I come back over here after this saves, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to refresh my data. And if you don't know how to do that, you go back to the tab, right click, refresh. Um, you should be very familiar with that if you've been in P21 for a while. You'll see what happens. My min max, or my, excuse me, my net stock has now dropped down to 91, which is below my 100. Um, so it is telling me I need to purchase. So it's taking the difference between um, my max, what I have as a net stock, and telling me that's the quantity I need to order. Uh, obviously, if you had a special unit. Uh, of measure that you purchased in it would do a calculation down here to figure that out so again min max is pretty simple uh, if you've been involved in purchasing ever you you're probably familiar with it but i just wanted to show you how simple it is to to look but you know there are a couple reasons why you would maybe still want to do min max for your items that are sporadic uh, definitely new items because up to does not work with new items very well unless you have about a 12 month at least history on them uh, but do keep in mind it is a manual process unless you call atlas to help you out with that uh, if you guys like this video you want to see other videos like this uh, you can uh, put a comment or question down below make sure you like and subscribe and atlas is here for your p21 help thanks guys